All right, Jason Rona here at the Winter Indoor Nationals here at uh, Velocity RC Raceway. We're here with Spencer Rivkin. Uh, Spencer, we talked to you a little bit on these uh, race events. We make the tour around the U.S. Uh, you got a couple new sponsors this year, and uh, we thought it was a good opportunity to bring everyone up to speed on uh, some of these new sponsors that you have. And uh, in particular right now, we're talking a little bit of ProTech RC. Uh, tell us uh, about uh, switching over to ProTech this year. And, uh, you know, you've been running the batteries, some of the other items they have available. And let's talk about the batteries. Yeah, like you said, um, I changed some of the program uh, for this year for my overall program. And, you know, talking to the guys at uh, ProTech at and A-Main Hobbies, Kevin Kaiser, uh, Randy Pike, and um, Chad Bradley, all those guys, you know, have a good backing with racing. And um, I run the, the ProTech batteries, the Graphene Plus. Um, I run the 5800s and ma the majority of my 10-scale uh, cars, and I've been testing with some of the new ones, the new batteries, um, like the 4100 and my four-wheel drive, and, and testing with my two-wheel drive and stuff. Um, it's been great. Uh, those guys supporting my back, giving me the best, the best batteries possible to run, and the, the newest you know, quality battery on the market, and it's been great. You know, one thing that, you know, I don't think people think about very often, something that becomes more of a factor at, like, the Reedy Race, um, you know, there's so many different batteries out there. There's different milliamps, and we got all these C ratings and the, the graphene. But when you're doing these, um, you know, these race events, um, where do you go for a different milliamp range? And what, what makes you decide, I'm going to run this one in two-wheel, this one in four-wheel, this one in truck? You know, what, what is, uh, for people that really maybe struggle with that idea, you know, what is it that you do uh, to kind of keep things in line and what one should you use right. before the other? Yeah, like you said, um, you know, at the Reedy Race, that, that's one of the few races out there that um, in the open class they do a 10-minute race. And um, we kind of have a general idea of how many milliamps, you know, I, I have a general idea of how many milliamps I use in a qualifier. Um, do, you know, the, my charger tells me, the ProTech charger that I use tells me how many milliamps I use in the whole qualifier. So I have a general idea of um, how much I use, how much that I'll need for an additional five minutes for, for a 10-minute race. And the 5800 is what I typically run when the races are, are that long. Um, in the four-wheel drive class. In the two-wheel drive, you can kind of get away with running a little bit of a smaller battery, a milliamp, um, because it doesn't draw that much power due to the braking and, and it's not being four-wheel drive. Um, but, you know, ProTech brings the, the best cells to the table and the longevity of the battery, and it's it's been awesome. You know, you know ProTech got a big win um, at the Reedy Race in the open class. Uh, you know, Tommy Hines was using the ProTech batteries, and that, and that was cool to, to see, you know, him get a win, and along with ProTech and, you know, relate with te teammates and that and therefore so um, like I said ProTech brings the best quality batteries hands down uh, longevity the best cells the latest on the market um, I run the 5800 and like I said the, ma the majority of my cars um, just because I don't have to I don't want to worry about battery life um, it's just kind of easy and it doesn't I don't I don't have to worry about it in the back of my head I mean, you mentioned uh, briefly you have this charger, you know, it's a, uh, and, you know, a lot of people kind of walk past these chargers every day, uh, you know, that, you know, one might be similar to another or, you know, what, what is the standout features that you found so far? You know, in the past you've had a lot of chargers, you've raced some stock, you've, you've raced a modified, but, you know, what's some standout stuff about this ProTech charger? Yeah, the ProTech charger has been great for me. I mean, I don't run stock, so I don't, I don't need to charge at 40 amps, but um, I believe both sides I can charge at 15 amps each. Um, and, and it discharges at a quite a high uh, discharge rate for just having the two ports. And I believe it charges two four cell batteries at eight amps. And a lot of chargers can't do that unless you're using like the iCharger. Um, but it's been awesome. It, it tells me everything I need to know about the battery, what cell, what's the cell count, um, and it's it's been awesome. Uh, it has a couple ports for you know having a battery, or you can have a, a light, an additional light, a USB port for charging your phone. Um, it gives everything that I need to, to get the job done, um, and that's pretty much it for the Charger. So we're here at the Indoor National Series. You know, this is a, a five-race series throughout the U.S. You've, you've been on the tour a couple of years now. Uh, what is it like to come back here to St. Louis? It's a little cold out here right now, but, uh, you know, just kind of stepping into this year with new products. You about This is the third big race in now. Um, you know, where are you feeling that you're at at this point, and, you know, what is it like to come here to St. Louis and, and try to do it again? Yeah, running here at, at, um, at this race, it's, you know, doing these J-Concepts INS races have literally 
hands down made me a better driver uh, with the different you know drivers that come out um, different skill levels um, it's made me a better a better driver and this the this race and and specifically has been um, a big challenge for me with a smaller track the way the the conditions are um, you know just kind of penciling sharpening your pencil is what um, you know I've heard Jason call it and um, it's it's made me a better driver and, and this track's always been cool it's one of the few tracks out there that um, that has the smaller the track but the tall driver stand and the different grip levels um, changing throughout the race. Uh, it's very unique. It's pretty awesome to see, and I think we have um, a sold-out race here. I've, we have, I believe, 42 heats, so it's pretty awesome to see everyone come out and enjoy their racing as well as I do. All right, Spencer, thanks for joining us. Thanks to ProTech RC for being here with us on the series this year. And, uh, you know, we wanted to give you a shout-out here on uh, some of these new products, and uh, we'll be with you more this weekend as we follow you and uh, see how you do and see if you can go back-to-back -back here in St. Louis. Kind of a tough thing to do. Not a lot of people have done it, so uh, good luck to you this weekend. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're back here at uh, Smack Track at the Winter Indoor Nationals. We're here with Alex Sturgeon, uh, manager over at Hobby Plex in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, monster hobby store there. Um, many tracks inside. First, Alex, tell us what it's like to be a hobby shop manager at a place that big and uh, working on these tracks all the time. Um, just it's it's a lot of work, but it's uh, it's rewarding. Everybody seems to have a good time that, that comes to our place and. Uh, um, we're a very well stocked hobby shop, uh, so I work really hard to make sure that we have stuff in stock all the time and, and uh, have what people want to buy and, and just, uh, just make it work. Yeah, I, know, I noticed you've been doing some uh, different types of promotion lately, you've been getting into more videos, you're showing uh, even on your personal accounts on social media you're showing what's in stock, this came in today, uh, you're keeping people up to date, um, you know, how do you feel? Uh, you know about doing that type of thing and is it making a difference and people noticing some of these things oh it's making a huge difference uh it's something i've been meaning to do for a really long time and we just uh for whatever reason we just got sidetracked all the time and 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 uh one day i was just like you know what we got to get this youtube stuff going and we just started making videos and the response has been really good um i have a lot of fun doing those uh we tell we know we kind of joke around a little bit but what it also helps us showcase what's going on. Uh, we do some light stuff. We've done some racer spotlights. I might even do like a like an Omaha group video for our for our track here this weekend. Um, the Facebook promotion has been probably our best source of advertising that we've ever seen. Uh, this Christmas especially, uh, I've been boosting a lot of our posts and stuff, and uh, that was the first time we've actually had people come in and say, this place keeps popping up on my Facebook feed. I figured I might as well come in here. So. Uh, that's that's definitely been worth it and it's helped out a ton. Well, you know, reason why we want to talk is a little bit about uh, ProTech RC today, one of the supporters here on the J Concepts INS. Uh, we noticed that you're running some ProTech equipment here, got the servo. We talked to Spencer Rivkin earlier about the battery packs. Uh, but as far as the, the, the car itself, uh, you know, we wanted to get a good look at the servo here. Um, you know, we got this uh, this item in here, and I knew you would know a lot of specific information about these items being in the hobby right. store. Uh, you know, tell us about uh, what you choose to run here in the two-wheel buggy, probably the most popular class. Um, yeah. What is it like? Uh, so um, the, the Plex has been carrying ProTech stuff now uh, for about two years, and uh, um, I'm a privateer, so I just I wanted a servo that was strong. I really like torquey servos, so the the 160T is what I have in my car. It's an all metal case. Um, it's got about 260 ounces of torque and a transit speed of 0.08. So even though it's super torquey, it still has that that good speed that'll work with with your uh, with your high performance radios. Okay, and you know, and there's a whole line, obviously, but you're not even choosing the top of the line here because it's a two-wheel buggy, and, and there's a lot of there's room here, right? Yeah. So, um, I mean, they've got some bigger servos, but uh, you know, I I I have one of them in my eight scale. You know, it's it's uh, it's a much larger servo. It's it's still metal cased. It's like 400 ounces of torque, um, and it's still really fast. I think it's like it's like 0.10 or something like that. Um, but I just I just chose this one because it was fairly inexpensive for the for the specs and uh, and really strong. Yeah. So in, from a cost standpoint, I mean, obviously you see everything lined up in the hobby shop all the time. Uh, you mentioned before that it's a, it's a it's a good buy, not only for the money but for the performance. So explain a little bit the cost breakdown on servos 
and you know what you kind of see out there in terms of what what's the happy place price wise yeah so uh when people come in if they have a ready to run that they've that they've uh uh broken their stock servo you know we usually have about a 40 dollar price point that they seem to like and uh actually i mean a main has their eco power brand and that's usually what we sell to them and then a step up from that would be starting to get into their protech servos um into that 60 to 100 dollar range and then the, the the guys that come in and they're just all about they just want that high performance um still the same servo is 100 dollars, but you know you get up into the 130 dollar uh, servos. The main thing is, is they seem to last. They're super strong and I don't know, they just work good for that. That's about the price breakdown. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, lots of times, you know, we do a lot with the monster truck community and RC and I see people talk about servos all the time in that area and I always see people trying to cut corners with some of this stuff and it's just like, you know, I look at it and I just go, you know, this just isn't worth cutting corners to save a few bucks and then just to have the servos break. I mean, you want to go with something quality, right? Yeah, and that's that's something that I stress to anybody that comes in our store. Um, the, the ready to run crowd when they break their plastic geared servo, you know, I just immediately show them. Well, you're gonna have a part anyways. You might as well put a metal geared servo in it. I give them the options, and uh, and they usually end up going with the the better metal geared servo, so they don't have to buy it again. Because I mean, even a Traxxas servo when you break them, they're forty bucks. So you might as well get a good metal geared one. So, you know, you travel over here from Omaha. You're here with your son this weekend doing some racing. You guys are both racing. And uh, what's it like to kind of do this as a little bit of a family racing program? I know he's been racing for a while, but, you know, now he's getting a little older and a little bit better. And I know um, um, things are getting a little more competitive. So what's it like traveling now and doing this a little more as a family? Well, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm I'm not ready to to quit and to just be a pit dad yet so uh you know i work on both of our cars um i've had my son fix stuff when he breaks it um you know i've been showing him like today I, he wanted to he wanted to change something on his car so we i showed him how to rebuild his shocks and 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 associated shocks and do that correctly and all that um so that's part of it just just seeing him as he gets older he's able to work on a few things on his own a little bit more but you know he's I still want to be there I, I want to be I want to work on his stuff um, but I like it when he works on his own stuff too um, keeping track of tires keeping track of batteries making sure we don't have each other's radio um, the traveling part is fun uh, I've, I've traveled a lot and I've done really bad at a lot of races so you know I, I feel like uh, um, as, as he gets into new tracks and stuff and services that he's never ran on before i feel like i've got a, a little bit of knowledge that i can pass on to him to try and help him as he gets better um we're not ultra competitive you know my son's got a lot of stuff that he likes to do he's got his own passion so when we go to a race it's it's really a time my wife doesn't travel with us anymore so uh she's paid her dues so it's just father son time that's that's what it's all about Good. Well, that's Alex here. Uh, we appreciate him coming out uh, from the Hobby Plex all the way in Omaha, driving over here uh, to St. Louis, racing with us, and uh, his son as well. And uh, good luck, Alex. Thanks for joining us, and uh, thanks for the insight on the servos. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for, thanks for having me on.